And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Starting off with uh, today's satellite imagery, we'll see we've got uh, broken clouds here over southern Alaska. Some clearing today over uh, south central Alaska, so sit in the valley on down and toward the Kenai Peninsula. And massive clouds out here over the Bering Sea, all this associated with the next big storm that's developing. It'll be pulling north eastward into the western Gulf of Alaska here later tonight and into tomorrow. Otherwise, you can see uh, a lot of cloudiness here over the southeast coast, the heaviest clouds down over the Queen Charlotte Islands, and also some clearing up here to the north. <clears throat> and looking at uh, the uh, flying weather for tomorrow, Saturday morning, good VFR over the interior, some marginal VFR along the Alaska Range, as well as the North Gulf Coast here in the Prince William Sound, possibly the Kenai Peninsula, but VFR all the way down into Bristol Bay along the southwest coast. IFR continuing, uh, continuing there over the central eastern Arctic coast and uh, marginal VFR in toward the Brooks Range. Lots of IFR out west over the Bering Sea all the way up into the Bering Strait and kind of coming onto the Yukon Delta coast. For the afternoon, IFR right along the Yukon Delta coast, otherwise Bristol Bay and much of the interior north of the Alaska Range, VFR. Uh, VFR holding, though, down into northern Cook Inlet through the Susitna Valley. Marginal VFR Copper River Basin with a band of IFR here along the North Gulf Coast, mainly east side. Solid IFR for the Panhandle. And uh, pretty much still IFR out over the Bering Sea. And uh, Arctic Coast, Central and Eastern Arctic Coast tomorrow afternoon. Maybe some marginal VFR lingering. Isolated thunderstorms here over the uh, southwest interior. Seward Peninsula and right around the central Tanah Valley, Tanana to uh, Fairbanks, the Nana area, but nothing really widespread. And for Sunday morning, VFR holding over the interior here, north of the Alaska Range, south of the mountains though, marginal VFR, IFR, North Slope, Arctic Coast, Brooks Range though, especially south side VFR. IFR now uh, retreating southward, south of uh, St. Matthew Island, with VFR over the northern Bering Sea there into the Chukchi Sea. Southern and central Bering Sea, though, mostly IFR and Kodiak Island, marginal VFR, and still mostly IFR here for the Panhandle in the North Gulf Coast, Prince William Sound, Kenai Peninsula for the afternoon. Marginal VFR areas of here for southern Alaska and then north of the Alaska Range again, good VFR right up to the Brooks Range, Arctic Coast, IFR pulling back to... Uh, near the coastline, west side off the coast, and uh, some uh, IFR here for the North Gulf Coast, Lincoln Canal Glacier Bay, otherwise mostly marginal for the Panhandle, and uh, shrinking area of IFR out here over the Bering Sea, so pretty good up to the north, some marginal VFR through the Bering Strait to Savunga and Gamble. Uh, marginal VFR now with some areas of IFR for the Aleutians, marginal VFR up across Bristol Bay, into uh, South Central Alaska to the Brooks or to the Arctic or to the Alaska Range passes Anatubic for tomorrow VFR VFR for Adigan as well and Lake Clark and Merrill marginal VFR for both those passes and for Rainy VFR to start becoming marginal VFR especially on the eastern entrance throughout the afternoon windy VFR Isabel looking good VFR Mentasta holding VFR as well there, but Tanita in the Manuska Valley, especially east side here through the past uh, marginal VFR, Portage IFR, and Chilkoot and White look IFR as well. Freezing levels, uh, higher pressure aloft with warmer air aloft to the north, cooler to the south here, 6,000 feet in across Kodiak Island, covering the Aleutians there, and uh, eight to 10,000 feet over the Panhandle Icing, look for some moderate, considerable moderate rime icing sliding into the southeast coast with a main frontal boundary there. And then that wrapping up could be some uh, considerable moderate rime icing also here. Portions of south central Alaska, Prince William Sound, North Gulf Coast, uh, Homer, Seldovia. And another small area out here just north of the central Aleutians, but really southwest of the Pribilofs. And uh, moving on to the jet stream. Main jet here south of the Aleutians with the colder air here over the southern Bering Sea. And then with warm air aloft to the north, we have this uh, easterly flow set up, up to 60 knots there across the Bering Strait. 
strong jet here, 135 knots ahead of this uh, strong storm system blowing in toward the uh, Yakutat area in northern Panhandle. 9,000 feet, low pressure right over Kodiak Island at this elevation. Southeast winds, 55 knots into the North Gulf Coast, up to 60 knots out of the southwest into the Panhandle. Easterlies at about 40 knots here uh, over the uh, western interior areas. Light over the Bering Sea and the Aleutians. 3,000 foot winds, southeast 50 developing here along the North Gulf Coast and up to 45 knots coming into the southern Panhandle. Otherwise, a lighter easterly flow, but up to 40 knots there along the western Arctic coast, uh, maybe Point Lay, Point Hope, Cape Lisburn area. And then again, light winds out here in the west. Turbulence, not much out for the Bering Sea and the Aleutians, but for the Alaska Peninsula becoming moderate and then areas of, uh, or considerable moderate here for the North Gulf Coast, the southeast coast, and up over the uh, western Arctic coast with stronger winds in that area.